Good morning, Floss Tube. Today is Monday, September 18th. I have stash to show you today and a few finely finished objects and one whip. If you're not a stash video person, I will show the whip and the finished pieces first and then you can turn off the video. But let me let you know that the stash I am going to show is of international origin, so it might be fun if you'd like to see it. Thank you for watching my other videos, for your wonderful, helpful comments. Love, Floss Team. The first finely finished object is an old one, which was completed on that same trip I mentioned to you on a video about Mount Vernon. We also visited Washington, D.C. on that trip. This piece, Count It All Joy, another favorite life verse, is done on Ada in DMC threads. And you'll see those 80s colors, the roses, the blues. But we love this piece even now and have it on display in our home. So this was a road trip piece worked on as we traveled on that trip. The other finally finished object is another old piece. I guess I'll be showing you old pieces forever. This is a bell pull and if you remember in those days how popular bell pulls were, this one is actually motifs from Colonial Williamsburg. And I wish I could show you the whole thing in one shot, but you'll see the hardware that was purchased to go with this fabric. And I'll show you each little motif. This is representative of the tree of life. You can see those tiny stitches. This was just more than fun to do. Then in between each stitch motif is the design on the fabric. Here you see flowers in a basket. And then the pineapple, symbol of hospitality, for which Williamsburg is famous. And then the bird with the berries. So this piece also hangs in our living room. We are attached to it. I will look for this pattern book for you in case anyone enjoys Williamsburg patterns or history. They would be beautiful done on other fabrics and for other purposes. So let's talk about this international stash. I mentioned our trip to Scotland in the spring and I need to finish that story by saying that our daughter is studying abroad in Scotland and so our husband, my husband, her daddy, just spent two weeks over there with her, getting her settled, finding out the lay of the land. So to shorten the story a bit, he and I had discovered a lovely little needle workshop in the city of Linlithgow, which is about 20, 30 minutes from Edinburgh by train, and it was called Nifty Needles. When my husband took our daughter back to Linlithgow to see the beautiful palace there, they went to Nifty Needles and found that the owner is retiring and selling, excuse me, closing the shop. I wish she were selling. So as sad as that news was for us, the exciting part was that everything in the store was 70% off. When my husband returned, I was gifted with some lovely, lovely stash. So that's what I want to share with you today. They did say that many of the, many of the things in the stock had been depleted, but they spent over an hour looking through what was left and I am thrilled with the selections they made. So many of you are familiar with Marilyn. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, her name was right here, Levitt Emblem, who has sadly passed away, but they were able to find two of her much older charts from Told in a Garden. The little pictures are so small. I'm sorry if you cannot 
see these, but so quaint. So that will go on my list of stash soon to be done. Then this one is just a gorgeous birth sampler. Can you see the baby in the basket? And the gorgeous skirt skirting around. I hope you can see the sweet baby's face. So those two are very old patterns. This one is called Baby in a Basket. I'm not seeing a title for the garden one. I'm sorry. Then a piece including beautiful hard anger work, which I have never done. But this piece is called Lavender Path. And if you'll look at the back of the kit, you will see the gorgeous white linen, the threads that are organized for us, and then the metallics, and the threads used for the hard anger work. Oh my goodness, this kit is beautifully packaged. So someday I will be brave and try to do this one and learn hard anger. But isn't that just beautiful? Another piece which I hope to use for one of our children for a wedding sampler, we'll see which one decides to be married next, is black work. And this one is called Holbein Embroideries. And you can see the design with wedding motifs. If I'm going to do black work, this would be a wonderful way to start, I think. And again, you'll see how beautifully the kit is packaged. This has 22 count hard anger fabric and your black embroidery floss and then your metallic. I'll keep you posted on when I decide and need to start that one. There is a precious bookmark called Victorian Pansies. My mother loves pansies, as do I. I've done violets and pansies for her. This may be a lovely Christmas gift for her. And again, the kit includes everything you need, even the felt to back the bookmark and the tassel. I have a couple more of these bookmark sets that I brought when I was in Scotland. I'll have to find those to show you. Now this kit, I had to start. This called to me for so many reasons, but I'll tell you the two main reasons. It is not a good photograph. But enough like a sampler to call me the house the baskets of flowers. A beautiful design and fairly simple looking. This was actually done by Madeira. No, excuse me, EQS, Embroidery, Quilting and Stitching. So when I saw the back of this kit, that is what put me over the edge to start it this weekend. I want to show you what was in this kit. Look at these gorgeous Madeira flosses. Oh my goodness, people. Let me try to put colors where you can see them. Look at those blues. And these packages are designed so that you clip the bottom of the pack and pull your thread out to avoid tangles. Is that the most awesome thing you've ever seen? Now, all I know about these Madeira flosses are that they are made in Germany, but I have been using them and they are 
amazing to stitch with. They remind me of some silk I stitched with one time. So I have a tiny, tiny start on this sampler. I did put the Ada cloth away. It was much too stiff. As much as I'm willing to stitch on Ada, that particular one was not going to be fun. But I have a little bit to show you. What you're seeing is the green lawn of the house and a little bit of the house. So a tiny, tiny start. But the floss, oh my goodness. I replaced the Ada with a cream beige even weave, which is very soft and easy to work with. Now I do need to show you that this green is going to have to be frogged. I had a counting error and I fixed all of this, but I have not yet ripped out this side of the green. The tree here will be hopefully worked on soon. Where's my tree? There he is. But people, this stitching is effortless. This fabric with that floss, I'm hoping this will work up very quickly. You can see it's not going to be that large. So if anyone knows about Madeira floss, I want to know because I'm in love with it. I think the blues are my favorite colors, but I don't think there's a bad bunch in the lot. Oh, that's coming up well. Look at that. Oh, oh I can't even say enough about it. Then another one that came from the same shop, but I had brought this back with me. And there, Westies in the snow, trying to mail a letter in an English postal box. My start on this one is tiny, tiny, but I want you to see it because the colors come out so beautifully. I am using the Ada that was in this kit. So here we are with the sky and a little bit of the trees and the postal box. I actually worked on this one while we were traveling. And I think there is an error somewhere here. And that's why I put it aside. So this should come out again. I need to stitch those Westies. Also done on the Ada that was in the kit with DMC Floss. The company here is Zweigert. No, excuse me, Heritage Crafts. They're using Zweigert the, um, fabric. And it was made in England. The title is What Now? How do we mail that letter? We did have a Westie who grew up with our children, so had to stitch Westies. Now I have two more things to show you. This is going to be a short video. Um, hopefully uploading will work because my son will be home later to help me. I went to our local Target for some birthday shopping and I had to show you something that I found that I think is going to help me with my charts. Now I have put white behind this. It is clear lucite, but it's just a clipboard that says consider the possibilities. And I'm thinking I can put my chart right here and it will help keep it in my lap. I'll let you know if that's a positive contribution to my stitching. Three dollars in the dollar spot. Can't beat that. You know that I work in a college library and that I love to read and love books. So there is no way I can have this floss tube channel without sharing a little bit about books along the way. If you're not a reader or you don't want to hear this part, this will be almost the end. You may or may not have heard of Danish Huga, which is the art of comfort or living comfortably. And this book came across our desk. It's a brand new one, Comfort and Food for the Soul. And people, cross-stitch has to be Huga. 
there is no question that it is. So I'm delighting in this lovely little book and have requested several other books on Danish Huga. But let me just show you a couple of the, the illustrations that help you see why I say cross stitches Huga. If you are Danish, will you elaborate on that a little more? And then there is a page that says, please take a long candlelight bath. Look at that illustration. Isn't that delightful? Then recipes for all kinds of delicious foods. The one that makes me want to try it is classic cappuccino cake. So that will have to be on the recipe list. This was published by Bell and McKinsey, and as I said, a brand new one. Huga, Comfort and Food for the Soul. And the author is not given, it must be a compilation. Yes. So fun, fun, fun this weekend, going through my stash, which came from abroad and beginning Bless This House with floss I have never used before, the beautiful Madeira. And this one is called Moline. So maybe Madeira makes it and Moline is the name of the floss. I'll let you know what else I find out about that. And before I close, let me do a couple of shout outs that I think got cut off from my last video. First, I'd like to call attention to Mary Rose, Stitch Bliss Corner. She, of all people, could tell me about my new floss, and she could also give us a history of Linlithgow Palace and Linlithgow, I feel. But love her videos and all she shares. Her work is amazing. Guys, I may have already put this on that second video. Okay, Mary Rose, if I did, you're wonderful. And then the other is Lori of Mischievous Stitches, and you all know her. Just wanted to say every time she uploads a video, I sit down and stitch and feel that I'm sitting with her in her stitching room. Thank you again. Please share, comment, subscribe, and I'll look forward to a whip and finished object video in the next couple of days. Have a great stitchy day. Bye-bye.